A Trip to Woodland, retold by Jane and Sarah Brearley. Illustrations by Tony Wolf. Elves. <laughs> One day, Cowslip was walking in an unfamiliar part of the forest. He came across a huge tree. Why? he said to himself. It would take fifty gnomes joining hands during that tree. As he stepped forward for a closer look, he realized that the tree was watching him. He looked back in fright. When Cowslip finally opened his eyes, he met the unblinking blue gaze of the tree. Now, Cowslip, he scolded himself. You're known as the bravest of all the gnomes, so prove it. Cautiously, he approached the tree. It never took its eye off him. Well, how about that? muttered Cowslip as he drew closer. It's only a... The rest of his sentence was lost as the eyes suddenly exploded in his face. Ooh, my head, moaned Cowslip as he began to recover from the smack. It sounds like there's a squirrel running round in my brain. Whatever could all those twitterings and gigglings be? <laughs> shouted three figures in green as they bounded out of the tree trunk. Cowslip nearly jumped out of his skin for the second time that afternoon. My name's Pepper. I'm peppery by nature. I'm cold vinegar, the practical joker. And this is Ginger, a lively rascal. Oh, exclaimed Cowslip. I didn't know elves live in the forest. No one does, replied Ginger. No one has ever dared to venture this deep into the woods. But we made a dimwit catcher just in case. And you have the honor of being the first dimwit caught. Oh, thank you, replied Cowslip doubtfully. Would you like to see the rest of our house? invited Pepper. Well, as long as there aren't any more tricks, began Cowslip. Oh no, Vinegar assured him. Once you're inside, and here he laughed gleefully. <laughs> because elves do love playing practical jokes. It's as safe as can be. The elves were really quite eager to show cowslip around their house because it had been years since they had seen anyone and they were very proud of all their inventions. Elves are tremendously lively so all their extra energy has to be worked off. That's why their house is filled with all sorts of exercise equipment. Cowslip hurried back to the village, followed by the elves. For better or worse, the woodlanders, gnomes, redbeard, and pinecone now had to get used to having them around. Music